Much more mad money at including my sit down with the co founders of Back to the Roots. Companies help 5 million families grow their own organic food, including this one. We've had the great fortune of being able to do this show for nearly 18 years. And one of the most rewarding things for us is when we see a company we profiled in its earliest days grow up into something major, especially when it's in an industry that's so near and dear to my heart gardening. Way back in 2016, we spoke with a company called Back to the Roots, a privately held startup selling indoor gardening kits and other ready-to-grow products, along with organic ready-to-eat foods. At the time, they had about $10 million in annual revenue. Six and a half years later, Back to the Roots sales have grown to roughly $100 million. In fact, it's now expanding to become a full-service outdoor gardening company. Yesterday, we had a chance to catch up with the terrific co-founders and co-CEOs of Back to the Roots, Nikhil Aurora and Alejandro Velez. Take a look. Mr. Velez, Mr. Aurora, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us, Jim. I'm excited to be back. Um, good. Uh, Alejandro, you were here 2016. Yes. Uh, wow. What were your revenues then? What are they now? We've grown quite a bit, Jim. We've gone, we were uh, roughly a $10 million company uh, back then. Uh, we've grown 10x in terms of consumer sales. It's been a crazy last few years since we were on. We're super excited to be back. And Nikhil, I, I can tell that you are no longer just indoor. You got a lot of things going. So give us the big plan. Yeah, we've expanded from just indoor gardening kits to now outdoor gardening solutions to all 100% organic with this kind of focus on sustainability and the next gen. And we now have organic peat-free soils, U.S. farm seeds, vegan, 100% plant and mineral-based fertilizers. So just really trying to make it easy for people to grow organically inside or outside. Okay, my worry would be that if it's organic, it's too expensive. Yeah, and that is, in most categories, that's actually, you know, the case where there's a premium to right. be able to grow organic uh, food or really any category. With soil, it's uh, actually a really cool opportunity. We actually have our soils at a discount to conventional soils. You're telling and, me that, because uh, you know I'm a gardener, yeah, yeah. that uh, a peat-free actual dirt 100 is, organic, Jim. is is cheaper, cheaper than the other stuff that That's I buy. That's right. Without, so, without anything synthetic yeah. inside of it. It's all we US have national. Incredible. We have national uh, manufacturing now, so obviously it's got to be uh, blended all regionally to be able to get to those economies of scale, which we've done now and uh, uh, have really done over the last couple of years. All right, so Nicole, I, I did uh, I did the mushrooms, Amazing. and they were delicious. I love it. These are all the things, these are what I plant in my, you know, I've got one whole I, box that's just for spice, oh, and then, it. of course, I've got my tomatoes. So these are all, this is your next-gen line. Next gen, we have over 100 varieties now of organic seeds, uh, herbs, veggies, flowers, leafy grains to let you grow honestly whatever you want really focus on edible gardening though we've seen a huge transformation i mean this category was pretty stagnant for decades right, right. over the last oh, yeah. really three to four years seen this huge transformation younger folks coming in a much more diverse set of gardeners people growing edible food now not just lawns and it's got a huge focus on sustainability and people wanting to remove toxicity from their garden so it's just been super fun to see the transformation in the category and um, it's what we're what we've been doing for the last ten years. Yeah, we've been now. at this a decade, yeah. but, but we, feel, we literally feel like this is just our warm up. Overnight like, ten years success. Yeah, exactly. Now people hear all this stuff and they say, "Wait a second, have they compromised? Have you compromised on your values?" When I first saw you, and I see that you are a B Corp, it means yeah. that's that is the seal of approval. We, but yeah, um, being a B Corp is so important to us. I think for us, sustainability. It's got to be accountable. I think it's got to be measured. I think what we love about the B Corp, it's measurable. And even like one of our partners, Walmart, they launched this Project Gigaton and letting suppliers track their emission savings. So we're now like a Project Gigaton Gigaguru, which is our highest level of sustainability achievement at Walmart. It's three years running. So for us, like any opportunity we have to be able to lean in and kind of measure and track our sustainability metrics is really important to us. All right, so I know it's still too far from gardening season, but when I get there, where am I going to go to get these products? <laughs> uh, you can now go, and it's crazy since 2016, because we've now grown distribution over 15,000 stores. With, and really what makes us super proud is the opportunity to make this accessible to all. We want every single family, every single kid, Jim, to be able to garden at home. Well, look, I think you're absolutely right. And what happened, by the way, to the magic mushrooms? I know they're not magic, but they were sure darn delicious. You're still doing it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have a whole line of indoor grow kits, which you can find accessible at your local store today, too. And, you know, I mean, I think one of the things, too, is the, the grow kit line and really just got us into 
every single home, every single classroom in America. And Jim, we talk about, this is about the next gen as well. Like we want to get, not even like millennials, we're saying we want to get Gen Z. One of the things we actually uh, have just partnered out with Target and uh, wanted to play it live with you, but uh, didn't have it ready, but wanted to get you, we have a Fortnite and Target partnership. We literally just launched a video game, Jim, all around urban gardening. So the idea is let's get, kids and Gen Z to be able to uh, get uh, excited about gardening. Sorry, I missed that, but look, everyone knows I'm a gardener. I, I did the mushrooms. It was absolutely terrific. I am so excited that you're doing this. This matters greatly. All, not just for people who have never, for people who have never gardened, this is where you start. Yeah. For gardeners like me, this is the kind of stuff we've been waiting for. That's Nick, Nikhil Aurora and yeah. Alejandro Velez, co-CEO and co-founders of Back to the Roots Jim, can I, can I say one more thing, What's Jim? That? I'm What's just that? super proud. Jim, when we talk about next gen, we mean this, and not even Gen Z, but even five and six year olds. So literally this May, we're going to be going. Have you heard of the Home Depot's Kids Workshop? Sure. Happens every month. Five hundred thousand kids will be out there. We're actually donating kids uh, over ten seed packets per kid. So five hundred thousand kids will be growing. 100% organic seed packets by Back to Roots at the Home Depot. I am so proud of you guys. Thank you so much. Bad money's back at the